Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to another edition of Smart Chat here on YouTube.com. And I'll be honest with you, I read the dirt sheets, who doesn't? Probably every wrestling fan does. But it comes to a point where you, you just read certain things and you just want to smack whoever is writing this because it almost seems like it's a way to get a quick story out, a way to get hits on a website, on a channel, whatever it may be. Stories that are unfounded and they never seem to come through fruition. In particular, a one story. And this is coming off of a dirt sheet, it's probably on a few dirt sheets. Uh, but here, here goes the story. <clears throat> Backstage news on TNA's major financial troubles on capital letters. Employee threat, employees threaten to walk out during impact, and the article reads, There's major concern backstage in TNA right now about the financial future of the company. This is the same type of article, mind you, that we've been hearing for the last five years. Anyway... At this past week's TNA Impact Wrestling tapings from Orlando, members of the production staff were going to walk out in the middle of the tapings due to the company being behind on paying them. Continues, TNA caught wind with the situation and immediately cut checks to the production staff to cool them off. There you go. There was a lot of tension behind the scenes last week with money being tighter than it ever has been. Where is this coming from? Where? Where? And this is the same damn story that we've been hearing about. Usually in journalism, when you report something, you give your sources. This seems like the same shit that the dirt sheets been spewing for the last five years. Again, who is their source? How long do they know anything about what goes on behind the scenes? Most of these stories are bull bull bullshit, in my opinion, conjured up for the soul reason of just having something to put out there for the smarks to jerk off to, quite honestly. Hell, honestly, I could even run one of these sites. Here, here it is. Here's one. Big stage news! Exclamation point. Jericho backstage at Raw. What's he actually, question mark? Who knows? Who's going to tell me he wasn't. Nobody. Because nobody knows. Unless WWE and TNA let these people backstage, which they don't. Here's one. A crappy dirt sheet dot com. Another dirt sheet that I could do. Exclusive. Batista may or not be wrestling on tonight's Raw. Full details on the crappydirtsheet.com premium site for only $28.99 a month. This just is, you know, here's one. This just in. Everyone born yesterday is on Death Watch. We figure anyone 89 years or older. And the new story will be proved correct. Dirt sheets, dirt sheets, dirt sheets. Sometimes these dirt sheets come out to fruition. But when you've been hearing the same story for the last five years, put your name to it. Stop making up stories just for the heck of making up stories. My opinion, TNA... Is not going anywhere. I don't want TNA to go anywhere. Neither should you. The more wrestling there is. For wrestling fans like ourselves. 
the better it is. The more variety that there is to watch. Heck, if you don't like a product, don't watch it. Simple. Simple. But don't wish harm on all these wrestling promotions. We as wrestling fans need as many wrestling promotions there is to make other to make the existing wrestling promotions better with competition competition always makes you better so that was my little rant on the dirt sheets same damn story you've been reading for the last five years in regards to TNA until next time adios over and out